What do you do, my beautiful fleet crew? Welcome back to another NBA 2K21 with we are continuing our little journey to the NBA. I'm trying to get draft the bottom. Los Angeles Lakers, baby. If you're in the picture on the vid, please smash the like button down below. Make sure to sub, help me reach my first honey on the channel, baby. And keep up with the content and more uploads down the line, baby. Now we roll. We win every possession. We control the outcome. We are stronger. We are smarter. We are faster. We are hungrier. That's right. That's right. We play hard. We play together. We play to win. Tonight, we etch our names in the history book, fellas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what legends are made of. Mm -hmm. We play like family. That's right, Red. We play like family. All right, there it is. Let's go. Family, family on three. Oh. One, two, three. Family. family. Let's I guess go, they man. kept a lot of shit. Fast forward. Hello and welcome, everyone. To what are we going up against? Basketball presented by 2K Sports. And on tap tonight, it's the UCLA Bruins going up against the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Oh. Along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, I'm Forrest. Bone bones. Bone bones, baby. Bone bones. Our little college journey with a... <laughs> green beam on a machine. <laughs> Three points, baby. Down my throat. You know how we roll, baby. Give me a good hard ass pick. That's what she said. Puts up a three. These nuts. With the okay, I gotta stop messing around, baby. Still can't get anything going here after okay, three so three. they can't score so far. It. Kelly's gonna make that shit. And one. Bro, this guy's balling his ass off. Dude, he's better than Thompson. Hit me, hit me. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Bing. Yellow beam money machine. Yeah. That's how they get their first fucking point. Money. Yellow beans. Shit, shit. Pool. Pool. It's a Chris Ball action there, baby. Money, bruh. Shot off. Now the Bulldogs take it the other way. Levens with it. You didn't see that. That should have been a bucket, bro. That should have been a bucket. That's beautiful. I love that. I love seeing that. Why did you Bruh. jump? Bro, you had an open lane on the left. Bruh. Okay, let me get you. Yeah, yellow beam on the machine. Give me them fucking buckets, mate. Money, green beans. We stay hungry. Just gotta keep on booking. Thompson's gonna slap that bitch across your face. Chop, chop, chop. Five, four, three, two, one. Yellow beam money machine. Hum, 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 hum. Yeah. That's what we do, son. Balling our asses off, fam. I'm trying to get them Lakers interested. Yellow bean. Where you going, fam? Give me them green beans. Cause I'm a money machine, baby. I'm, 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 I'm. You know how we roll. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, that's easy. That's Gucci. That's Gucci. We can get a takeover now. This is it. What is this? This is not a championship game. This is a splash. Give me some yellow beans in the comments below, baby. Let me drain a bitch while I'm on a fucking takeover. Yellow beans. Y'all lost, fam. 
Hey Gucci, we out of here, baby. 71% from the three point line, baby. Trying to, trying to break some ankle. Let me share the ball. Let me share the ball. Easy open lane, baby. CLA Bruins have won it all. Wow. What a stunning conclusion to an incredible season. They really poured their hearts into this game, and it showed. No question they deserve the trophy here tonight. And that will do it for our broadcast tonight. Another truly remarkable season of college basketball in the books. So until next time, this is Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and myself, Forrest Hunt, saying good night and see you next Please tell me the Lakers are interested in my facilities. Play hard, competed, ended up on the right side against yes. a great team. We told ourselves at the beginning of the season this was our goal. Anything less would be a failure, and uh, here we are. What are you going to tell you guys in the locker room? Uh, coach, what you going to tell the guys in the locker room? Uh, what they already know, how proud we are of each and every one of them. Uh, they stuck together, and they played the game the right way. Thanks, Coach. Junior, I have to ask about your dad, Duke. Uh, he got here and didn't win. Does that give this win any special significance for you? Uh, I think my dad would have been proud of me no matter the outcome. Hey, yo, Alex, Alex, we did, <laughs> yeah, we did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! Oh, did it. Oh, 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 yeah! Yeah! <laughs> well, obviously we're excited. You won a championship. Check that off your resume. Have you put any thought into next season? Uh, oh, no, Alex, I just want to... My time to go. <laughs> I just want to enjoy this moment for as long as I can. So no NBA announcement in your near future? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm just going to enjoy this moment for as long as I can. Okay, well, fair enough. Congratulations, Junior. You've earned this. Go celebrate with your teammates. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. <laughs> Woo! Hey. Let me hold that, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you earned this. Congrats. Thanks, Alex. Shut your ass. You always trying to milk shit. That's what we do. Totally deserved. Another shooting badge, that's sexy. Another playmaking badge, that's sexy. We're getting ready for the NBA, boys. Please. Please. The Lakers. No. Oh my god. They're not interested in me. Why? Junior, we appreciate everything you did this season and how hard you worked. <laughs> well, I just want you to know, it's been tough for me, coach. Had a lot of sleep, it's nice about it, but I know moving on to the next level is what I have to do. And we're behind you 100%. This university is eternally grateful. And I know I asked a lot of you, but you answered the call every time. Thanks, coach. Congrats. Had a, we had a choice. And what Why happened to his dad? Is he dead? Is that funny to you? You notice how all your questions about the result never the work? It was a simple question. Why do you think I didn't get drafted? I mean, for real. You tell me. I know you had two knee surgeries in college. Nah, it's excuses. I don't know, you stayed all four years? I wanted to get my degree, try again. You were captain of your team, conference player of the year, all, all team nice defense. All nice awards, things I've earned, things I'm actually proud of. But the NBA scouts agenda, I don't care about all that. I mean, sure, you got leadership, character, defensive motor, all that helps, that's real. Think about those other things. Well, what position do I play? You're a point guard. Yeah, and with my size, my body frame, can I play anything else? And what about my leaping ability? You can dunk. Can I dunk like those good dunkers, the good dunkers you even see at the street games? And is it explosive, a word they love to use? Okay, so you had some of it, but not all of it. I mean, from my perspective, no, but from their perspective, yeah. And when a GM goes on record and says, you're his guy, and he says that to his team, 
his whole career and yours are inextricably linked. Okay, if I become a star, so do they. If I wash out, same. So they've all agreed on this checklist, this protocol, right? If Duke doesn't check all the boxes, then some other guy does. So they draft the other guy. They draft the other guy. So at least they can say he checked all the boxes. Yeah. The fault goes back on the players, not them. Okay, that's why you gotta understand this mentality, son. You gotta make sure you check all the boxes for them. Okay, this draft cycle business, this is a chess match. Okay, if you're not ready for that, you are bound to fail. That's the setup. Whew, now most people on the outside won't see it. But this, my friend, is where the draft begins. A suit shop? Mm-hmm. Messaging is everything. Okay, so is there a wrong choice here? I mean, think of it like a spectrum. One end, you got Russell Westbrook, loud on and off court. On the other, you got Kawhi, quiet on and off court. Are you one of them or are you in the middle? What you decide will help teams get an idea of what you're really all about. Are you ready, Junior? Yeah. Oh, baby, I'm ready. You ready, Junior? 24-7, sugar. Yeah. We finna get our drip. Let's do it. Drip, drip. Okay, let me see. I think this is the drip that we got going on here. You know what I'm saying? Blue loafers, blue shirt, black pants with a black suit and a purple bow tie. Hoping that the purple and gold will select us. But I'm doubting it. We'll put this together and have it for you right away. Thank you. I'm mad. I'm mad. Listen, Art. I haven't had a chance to bring oh, it up. And it's so good, I already know. Oh, you do? Yeah. Harper and her team run a top sports agency for a reason. They contacted me as soon as they contacted you. You're not upset? Why would I be? Someone take the meeting. I want you to. Root out the specifics. Look, just because you sign with them doesn't mean we're a done deal. We can all work together. Okay. I'm in theater of plan first. Hers of mine. Both. We beat to rap what key beat to lock, but I'm cool like that. You can't lie. Don't lie, that's a drip. That's a drip going on. I would have put some earrings in here ears. You know what I'm saying? Jewelry. Make it wet like water. Agent, so when you sign with the agency, I'll be here to support Harper on the day to day. I'm sorry, I completely spaced on your name <laughs> walking in. It's fair, you have a lot going on. It's Layla. 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 <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Have a seat. Yeah, yeah. Layla. Junior. That's a boss in there. Hello. So excited to have you here. <laughs> I'm Harper Dell. Thank you so much for coming down to hear our pitch. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, and thank you for taking the time out to meet me. Absolutely. This is the moment. You have worked your entire life to get here, and we are here to support you in that journey to the next step where you start getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to tell you, we have the deepest roster of NBA talent in the world and brand partnerships with every company you can name. Our goal is long-term. <laughs> we want to create lifelong relationships that keep you living large now and comfortable in your retirement. In these notes, already rests the shoe contract of your dreams. <laughs> you ever thought about acting? No. Uh, <laughs> I never really considered it, but I'm, you know, I'm into it if it makes sense. Yeah. Multiple commercial offers and scripts for interesting indies that will help groom you for bigger projects once you get your feet wet. Um, all of that sounds really good to me. Yeah, but right now I just want to focus on the draft, solidify my position, and you know, find the team where my skills fit best. Well, we have relationships with all the teams. We can gather intel to get you the private team workouts that you but want. Maybe not the exact team I want to play for. Anything is possible, but it is still a draft where teams can and will do what they see fit for their organization. Okay, so that's a no. <laughs> Chaos exists. We try and mitigate that for you, but it does exist. And I'm not going to lie to you just to get you to sign. I want us to start off in a place where we can be honest with each other. You know what? This is feeling way too formal. Way too formal. Hang on. 
That's better. Much better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I grew up in the Salinas Valley. It's about two hours south of San Francisco. John Steinbeck was from there. Do you know it? I, no, not that area <laughs> <It's> specifically, <okay. laughs> no. <laughs> my parents died when I was young, so my grandmother raised us on her ranch. We grew broccoli, lettuce, cauliflower. It was not glamorous, but we worked and survived. And Layla? Oh, I was uh, raised right down the road from you and Union. Oh, so as you represent. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah. Um, my dad bailed on us when I was three, and my mom did everything in her power to make it work. We know what it's like to want more. We willed ourselves to be where we are, just like you did. There's a vision for you here. Jordan, LeBron, a bigger corporate vision. Companies love them. Kobe. Because their messaging connects to the public across all demographics. And that's how we want to position your endorsements going forward. Universal appeal. Okay. <laughs> but it... It feels like there's a catch coming. No, there's no catch. There's a little reality. Archie. He's a good guy, and we know that he brought you here, which is why we want to provide him with a generous finder's fee as a parachute. But for us, we need you free and clear of all old attachments. Your future depends on an uncluttered vision. All new NBA players have to go through these difficult transitions. So it's you guys or him? From our perspective, it's just the way it has to be. You should hear what he has to say. Maybe he really is the right fit for you and for your vision. But for us, it's one or the other. I don't like it. Hmm. Not one bit. We're fine. I'm not afraid of a little competition. But her pitch on the corporate take is a flat idea. You have personality and you have an opinion. Your boy Hendrix Cobb, Harden, Embiid, they're doing just fine being who they are. That's how we seal your endorsements. Big and bold. But doesn't that idea risk losing endorsements if I'm seen as controversial? Yes, yes it will. But you'll gain others. Others that share your vision and your story. Former football. Newark. Your dad. You're the underdog. That stuff is powerful, so right, use so you it. you contract available for me now? No, I don't. But I will. It's called trust, Junior. And she says she got a movie deal available for deals? me now. Deals? Or ideas where deals may be? I don't know. It seems to me like you should. These big agencies, man, they, they pack a punch nowadays. And she may have a little bit more firepower than me right now. But I know who you are. I know where you come from. And I know what you want. As if it were my own story. Fine, if you want to walk away from all of that, so be it. It's either her or me. You choose. Damn, son. Oh. Uh -huh. I'm going to choose the agency only because of Nike. And that's... And you get endorsements more quickly you know so i think the vc equals out you know you're gonna have less endorsements here but more money per each here you'll have less money per each but more of them i think it's about the same now uh, for the fans i really don't care chemistry and eh, if you play good you're gonna have good chemistry but i just want the nikes nikes deal so that's it loyalty means a lot to me but and i gotta protect myself get you a bigger shoe deal all right I i'm working on a few things right now but it takes time junior yeah but the shoe deal she has are already laid out and if i don't take them man i'm just sorry I'm bro money away oh, and these big agencies it'll be might be a dick move but if you miss your draft projections i would never do that to you junior i wouldn't even consider that now look, I just 
want you to reconsider, okay? Let's finish what we started. Huh? The fuck? Hmm, nothing changed. Am I right? I'm sorry, bro. I want the Nikes. And a potential tryout for the Lakers. I'm sorry, bro. Sorry, Arch. This the way it is. I'm firm with it. You know they'll cut you the minute you're not making any money for them, right? Keep your eyes open, Junior. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I wish you the best of luck, son. Thanks, fam. All right. Check, man. So, right now you are projected in the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> the strategy is simple. Just hold your ground and don't lose it. Be conservative. Being a lottery pick isn't dummy proof. If you make mistakes in interviews or on the court, you can lose ground quickly. If you bomb your private workout and you can fall. Mm. Okay. Next up, team interviews. Mm -hmm. We've already sent one up for you. So you should prepare. Here are some questions you can look at. Okay, so this is what they're going to ask me? Those are the types of questions mm. they've asked in the past. It can change. You never know. All right, got it. Set up is simple. You walk in the room, interviewer fires away. <laughs> I wish that I could just say to you, be yourself and everything will work out. You were a solid person. Maybe it would, but you always have to keep in mind what they're looking for from the answers. Tangibles, character, integrity. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do great. Yes. Got it. Junior, welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice Go to meet ahead you, and too. Take a seat. Thank you. She mad cute, this isn't bro. A test. This isn't an interrogation. We're here to have a discussion, point of which is to get to know you better as a person. There are no right or wrong answers. All we want is for you to be as open and honest as possible. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, let's get started. Thanks, dear. What Mama. would one of your family members tell us about you? Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's a good question. Mm. I think they tell you that as a kid, I always wanted to be the best. I loved to compete. Didn't matter if it was tic-tac-toe or dodgeball or whatever. I wanted to win. I needed to. And that's the first thing they'd say? Oh, yeah. And I used to take losing. <laughs> I used to take losing really hard. And I'd throw a fit if I didn't win. My family's still teasing me about it. <laughs> Great. Let's move on. I'm curious, how do you deal with teammates you don't like? Fuck. I guess. I guess. That doesn't really happen a lot, to be honest with you. Yeah. But if it does, I just try to work out whatever differences I might have with that teammate immediately. I don't like to let things build up, you know? What if you can't work out your differences? I, then I keep trying. Now, I don't really like to think there's a situation where I couldn't see eye to eye with the teammate if I tried to understand where they're coming from. Everybody wants to win, ultimately. Are you the best player in this draft class? Yes. Um... I believe that's the mentality I have to play with. Explain a little more. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm in the conversation, and I know that. Yeah. But who's the best can be subjective, like MJ versus LeBron. Let's say I'm the best in the class now. It's irrelevant to me. I mean, I want to be the best five, ten years from now. And that's what drives me. One last question, and then I'll let you go, Junior. I'm wondering. What's your primary motivation for joining the league? Like, uh, all I care about is being the best basketball player in the world. And I'm lucky 
maybe someday being in the conversation for best of all time. Nothing else motivates you? Supporting yourself, maybe? Well, I'm extremely lucky to play a game I love, and this game can lead to a very comfortable life, as far as money goes. But I just want to be the best above anything. After that, everything else will just fall into place. All right. That'll wrap it up. Wait, that's it? <laughs> that's now it. give me a phone number, sugar. Thank you very much for your time, Junior. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks. It was nice to meet you. Nice talking with you. Best of luck in the draft. Thank you. <laughs> we got them all. We got all pluses, baby. We got all the questions. So what right. happens next is the top decision makers from the team you interviewed with will review your answers and about it amongst themselves. Then we get a reset of your draft projections before we go to the next part of the draft cycle. Okay, so how did I do? Like we said going in, it's not a good or a bad thing. Your answers are subject to the interpretation of the team and the kind of personality that they want. But your whole stock may reshuffle. Word will start to trickle out about how you did. Some teams will like you more. Some teams will like you less. Some will think the whole thing is irrelevant. So all we can do is wait. <laughs> Try and get some rest. <laughs> it's easy for you to say. I know, but it's a long road and we're just getting started. Pace yourself. Hurry, pick. You getting settled in yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thanks for the room. It's perfect. I'm relaxing and keeping it quiet. Good, that's the idea. You gotta have a space to disconnect from the process at the end of the day. Yeah, maybe take that advice I gave you. No sports news, don't even watch games. Say that I'm working on it? It's gonna help your stress level, Junior. <laughs> okay, next up, big media session. What lottery picks have to say gains national attention, so you are talking about all of the biggest names and outlets there, asking you questions. But the press usually plays fair with the lottery picks. So this so. should be breezy and pleasant. Just keep your guard up a little and stay on message, and you'll be great. Follow me, please. All right. Okay, Junior. 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 Just the whole atmosphere, really. Yeah. It's a whole bunch of excitement here. And everybody's really happy to be starting a career, so that type of energy has just become really infectious. Obviously, you're a big-time talent. Anyone would be lucky to draft you. But where do you want to end up? Any preference? Uh, yeah, I got some preferences. Wouldn't you? Absolutely. So where are you leaning? <laughs> you think I'm going to tell you in public? Sure, why not? Ah, uh, nah. That was a nice try, though. Yeah, you took your shot. <laughs> I respect your hustle, Alex. I respect you. <laughs> Is there any doubt in your mind that you're the best player in this draft? You know... I try not to get caught up in comparisons like that. Yeah, I heard someone say the other day that comparisons are the thief of joy. I like that. Yeah, to me, all I care about is being the best player I can be and maximizing my God-given talent. You know, I let other people worry about the rankings. Junior, okay, who's right next? Right okay, okay, that's all the time we have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I think we... Now we enter the workout phase. This is your chance to show a specific team of your choosing what you're all about. We have a whole list of interested teams for you to choose from. Bruh. No, Lakers. Wow. Wow. Well, I'm gonna make a choice. I won't say it here. I'll keep you waiting. See you in a bit. Great, we'll get that set right up for you. Okay. 
One of our other clients, Damien Lillard, will be there when you arrive to give you <laughs> tips and provide guidance on how to maximize the workout. <laughs> that's amazing. I'm a huge fan of Dame. Well, use him as a resource. That's what he's there for. And save the selfies for when you're in the league next year. All right. Noted. <laughs> Yo, what up, Dane? Junior, what's going on, man? And not much, man. I appreciate you doing it. It's all good, man. I yeah. wish I had somebody to mentor me and walk me through it, so it's all good. All right, so what you gonna tell me about this, man? What's, the, what's up with this process? The first thing I'm gonna tell you is you gotta go into this with confidence because you're being evaluated for every little thing, your demeanor, your skills, um, your athleticism, every single thing, they take a note of it. So you gotta go in here with a mentality that you belong. And the hype is real. Right. I appreciate you saying confidence because I'm nervous, man. We was all nervous. Everybody that went through this process and became legends and became all stars and all that, they went through the same thing, had the same nerves, and they got through it just like you're gonna get through it. How'd you deal with everybody taking notes and watching and looking for your flaws and you know trying to pick your game apart and everything? I went into the gym and I pretended like nobody was there. I pretended like I was back home in Oakland getting one of my workouts in, and it all worked out. So you got to do the same. All right. All right, I'm going to try to shake it off, man. Any last words of advice before I go in here? Go get them. All right, man. I appreciate it. Good luck to you. Thanks, man. Dame Dollar. See you. Yeah, I chose Heat. In a bottle out with Jimmy Butler. I think that's the best choice I had. Besides Dallas Mavericks, as a point guard, as a point guard. Okay. Easy. Okay, we Gucci. Gucci so far. Gotta make a. Uh, we gotta make a stop. Well, let me show you what I got, son. Let me show you what I got, baby. You're not built for this. You're not built for this. Stiff. Give me that shit. Give me them cookies and them buckets, because I'm making it rain out here. Oh, that's some cheese, bro. That's some cheese right there. Easy. Easy. Why didn't the Lakers want me, bro? They showed the in, in the trailer. They showed a guy going to the Lakers. Well, I, I was thinking like. In the trailer, they showed a guy going to the Lakers. Get that shit out. Get this shit. Money. <laughs> Green beam on machine. Hey, hit me up. That's what I do. That's what I do. That's what I do, baby. Lakers. 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 Can we, can we, can we re choose? Please? Yo, dang. Yo, man, I just did my thing in there. You did your thing, bro. Yeah, I left it all on the court. 
That's how you got to do it. Anytime you get in that position, you got to leave it all out there. All right. That's what you did. All right, so now it's draft night. What's next? Hey, there's going to be a lot of uncertainty. You're going to be curious where you're going, what team you're going to play for, who you're going to be playing with. East Coast, West Coast, there's going to be a lot of things up in the air. But at least you know that you're going to be an NBA player. But it's a great feeling. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. So how'd you feel when you went on the stage with the commissioner? I was, man, it was a great feeling. You go up there, shake his hand, take the picture. You get your hat, yeah. represent your team yeah. for the first time. Man, I'm it's nervous. Crazy. I'm excited, though. It's that excited nerve feeling yeah, going on right it's now, one of man. Those I'm weird feelings, but I'm excited yeah. for you, man. Congratulations. I, I know it's going to happen for you, man. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. For sure. I hope these workouts are not done, though, because I'm ready to, you know, <laughs> well, now coordinate. You, now you, you ready. know everything. All right. And when you talk about Junior, all you hear is first round lottery pick. <laughs> that sounds definitive to me. How does it feel? Uh, oddly, it makes me feel more nervous. Like, hearing it aloud sounds like a prank. <laughs> it's real. Now, just don't touch anything sharp or ride in anything fast or jump off anything high. And soon enough, all your dreams will come true. Can you please make me re-choose the team that I want to play for? Please, bro. Yo, man, I'm wired, bro. Yo, me too, me too. I mean, I know it's good like to go to bed early and all that, but I'm bouncing off the walls right now. Yo, I'm bugging too. It's like, this is all too crazy, man. Like, this is my life, you know what I mean? I do. I mean, the NBA is right there. It's amazing, but it's tomorrow. Yeah. Yo, what? Let's go out. Aw, oh, man. We can't go out party. We get caught and it goes viral, man. We're gonna be done. <laughs> I'm not talking about partying, man. Where are you trying to go then? I don't know, man. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Nah, it's fine. Take pics with fans, watch some street ball. It's innocent, and it's something old school about it. The media will eat this up. No risk. Junior and Henry. Bro, what's up, bro? Oh, oh snap. How y'all doing, man? What you doing here? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? What's up, man? Yeah, what's up, man? Let me guess, y'all here for draft night, huh? Yeah, yeah, man. That's yeah, a big night. Right. You feel yeah. excited? Yeah. OK. You know what? What do you? Th I got an idea. How about we get warmed up? Let's uh, let's go twos. What you think, man? Oh, let's go some twos. Let's have yeah. some fun. I mean, unless unless y'all scared of my boy. Ah, oh, man, I'd be scared. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got jokes. You got jokes. Oh, well, I'm man. down. I ain't never scared. Hey, what, uh, you, think? what you think, Junior? Come on, man. Friendly competition. Hold on one second. Let me holler at you. Oh. One second. What's up, man? All right, let's think this through, man. All these fans, all these cameras, this can go really bad for me, man. Okay, okay. Pros and cons, right? All right. Right? Yeah. Cons. He beats us, that goes viral, we look like trash, and our draft stock washes right up the Hudson River. Yeah, that's bad, man. All of that sounds really bad. Pros, we take them down, that goes viral, we become legends, our draft stock goes through the roof. But you already the top prospect, man. I'm just saying, we, because we're teammates here. And it feels right. But, but, you are correct. I have no downside here. So listen, Junior, things can go bad real quick. I mean, that is Zion. Yeah. So that's why I'll let you make the choice. If you win, I'm in. If you're not, you sit back and watch the Zion show. All right. All right, all right. So we talked about it. So you guys ready to take me on or not? You think I'm gonna miss a chance to get at you in front of all these people? I see you, Junior. You want some of this smoke? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, do we? Do we? <laughs> Let's go. All right. I don't lose, man, at all. <laughs> hey. We ready, then. We're about to take out these top prospects, man. Uh, over with. Let's go. We get ball. We finna rock out with our caca. Not what you do, bro. Yo, look this way. 
the fuck? Brick. Ah, oh, damn it. Why am I guarding him? Why am I guarding him? Shit. Ooh, dang. Ooh, dang. Bro, you can't stop this guy, man. Damn, son. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. This is our chance right here. This is our chance right here. Get him. Get him, Tiger. Get him, Tiger. No, oh, this man is too big, bro. Ooh, that was a nice cut. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, he drilling them bitches. Damn, son. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Got you, baby. Bring me my mission. Oh, we slapping him, boy. We slapping him. We slapping him. Oh, they are ass. Let's go, baby. Easy, man. Too easy. I thought playing Zion would be like cheesy and shit. Hmm. Green Demon Machine. Oh, check it out. We already training on social. Yeah. I looked up in that video too, man. Got your boys good side. <laughs> this is definitely going to help our draft style. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what's up. Guys, hey, fellas, good game, all right? I appreciate that, good man. Game, good game, man. man. Light work. I don't yep. know how y'all won, but. <laughs> uh, some real hoopers, man. Yeah. I mean, we definitely going to beat you next time, for sure. Yeah. Fuck no, baby. Best, shot, best luck tomorrow. It's the biggest night of y'all life. That's right. Have fun and enjoy the moment. Yeah. I'll see y'all in the league. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. See y'all soon. Yes, sir. Right. Don't be salty. <laughs> Got your way, brother. That's a bit more. not beer don't worry it's coke i'm not an alcoholic yet make sure to sub down below so that i don't become one can i choose again bro i'm salty fam can you get the lakers how are you feeling uh, good yeah I'm, I'm, I'm good there's a piece in all of us that when we're close to achieving a goal or dream, we suddenly feel like an imposter. Like someone's gonna realize we don't belong and then quietly ask us to shuffle out the exit. Yeah, like my dad should be sitting here and not me. It's a long shadow you've walked through. It's time to step out of it now. Tonight marks the realization of a dream for the best young players in the world. A reward for their many years. With the first pick in the NBA draft, the Miami Heat select Hendricks Cobb from Texas Tech. <laughs> yes! Nice. 
Miami Heat first pick. 2K, what the fuck? With the mean? second pick in the NBA draft, the Miami Heat select Junior from UCLA. That doesn't make any sense. First and second pick are Miami Heat. How does that make any sense? What the fuck? Yeah. Okay. Bro, he blinked for the photo. Bruh. Wow. You know how many people live on this planet? 7.8 billion. You know how many in the NBA? Not that many. <sighs> Look, I just got to thank you, coach. I wouldn't even be here if you hadn't talked me into it way back when. Ordinarily, I'd say you did all the work. But in this case, yeah, I'll take the credit. <laughs> I guess I walked into that one. Hey, let's cheer some coffee or whatever is around here. Let's do it. Yes. To Junior, Newark's finest. You made it. I'm really, really proud of you. Bravo. This life is a long story, son. Just make sure you remember who you are, yeah? This place. Sure, Dad. I will. <sighs> I know. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, welcome to the Miami Heat. We are thrilled to have you on board and looking forward to your long discussion. Every year, our offseason mandate remains the same. We improve the team's address and enter process. And then just grab the end of the day. We're going to bung around here. Get it? Do me a potential piece. I wish it was the Lakers. We'll continue our journey in the next video. If you enjoyed, please smash the like button down below. Make sure to sub. Help me reach my first honey on YouTube channel, baby. Then your boy Ara. We will continue our MB2K21 journey in the next vid. Until then, you already know. Peace out.